Madam Chair, the final, final speaker this evening is Mr. Jeff Maddox. Holy cow. It's a great era in Kershaw County. Congratulations, Katie. Thank you, Mr. Maddox. Uh, you too, Danny. And uh, Jimmy, congratulations. I, I, I didn't forget about you. It's just been a repeat customer. <laughs> um, if we're going to have this new era, what are we going to do? What are our goals going to be for the next four years? Mine is when I look and I see less freedom and more government. And I see government out of control at every level. And it concerns me because over my lifetime, 60, almost three years now, the amount of freedom that we've lost in property rights and in individual rights is, is, is unbelievable when I look back. And I'm really concerned about that. I'm concerned that our goals are not in a line with freedom. They're in a line of central planning and government control that flows out of the swamp and down through the state and through the council of governments to here. We take bribes because it's free money, money that's printed out of thin air. We're $31 trillion in debt and yet nobody cares. There's going to be hell to pay at some point. I'm not sure when it's going to be. Timing is everything, but I can't tell you when. But I think that we need to build some sort of barricades, some sort of defense for freedom. You can see it. You can smell it. They're tracking everything. They know everything. They want to know everything. Where does it all lead? to a feudalist system of fascism and control. What are you going to do to prevent that? You know, I, I understand recreation and baseball fields and cornhole tournaments and everything is, is wonderful, and so is beer and football. But what's important? What are we going to leave our children? My God, what are we going to leave them? I want freedom. I want less government. And right now, I'm, I got, I'm running out of freedom, and all I got is government. So, guys, all I can say is let's set some, some pie-in-the-sky goals, goals that are unattainable but that we strive for, and that is the least amount of government gets the most freedom. And we change the hearts and minds of people that beg for government to do this and that. And we say, is freedom more important than recreation or industrial parks or any of these such things? What's more important to you? I know what it is for me, and that's freedom. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mr. Maddox.